Hey, what are you doing? I am packing because guess what today is? I don't know what day is it. Today is not hump day. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> it's haul out day. Hey, what are you doing? I am packing because guess what today is? I don't know what day is it. Today is not hump day. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> it's haul out day. So we are, as you can see, packing the Jeep and it is about as full as it can possibly get. I have tool bags, tool boxes, tool chests, power tools, supplies, $600 worth of Amazon stuff, <laughs> um, fiberglass, freaking clothes, bags. So we're going to basically, so what we're going to be doing is today we're going to haul out the boat, take it over, put it up on the jacks. Then we're, um, we have an Airbnb. So we're going to take all the stuff. Malin's going to be doing some stuff there with the, um, sewing machine, redoing these babies. Yeah. So some really nice material that she got. Um, 80s are going away. <laughs> the 80s were cool, but not that cool. 80s were awesome. Not that awesome. Yeah, they were. Except the fashion with the decor. Yeah. Um, so she's going to be doing that. We've split up our project list. We figured it would be easier um, if she tackled some and I tackled some instead of trying to really mesh too much. That way we could like keep accountability of each other. Um, so it's kind of going to be fun and interesting we were kind of worked on the rv like how she did the stripes while i was doing other stuff inside the rv or doing um, mechanical stuff or something like that we're working on generator or whatever so we are packing the jeep and we're going to be gone for a week so we took a whole week off of work so that we can get this done so whew, wish us luck it's going to be a rough week we're going to get a lot of sweating that's good equity sweat equity sweat it's all gonna be good. Yeah, for sure. Oliver's gonna have to be in my lap. Yeah, and officially nothing else will fit in the Jeep now. Yeah. <laughs> There's Madeline over there waiting because we're waiting for the haul out. Yep, there she is. She's sitting there and she's ready to go. So we just have to wait for them to get the lift available and we're out of the water and we're gonna get started. One thing I noticed as we're sitting here in the slip, guess what? We're sitting right next to her. Right? What are the odds of that? Now, like we said, we know that boat projects take a lot longer than planned. So we were going to go ahead and get started. Now we did dedicate an entire week of doing nothing but everything on this list. And as you can see, nothing on here is really going to be that easy or short. It's going to be very time consuming. But you know what? Between me and Madeline and the way we split up this uh, project list, we should be able to knock out everything that we need to do in a very short amount of time. Oh my god, please be careful. Oh my baby. This is always so nerve wracking. OMG, why are they driving so fast? <laughs> so check it out. So that endeavor that we saw in the, or what we thought was an endeavor right next to us, it was. It was actually, we met the owner, and it's actually only one year older than ours. Oh, walking Oliver. <laughs> so it's only one year older than ours. So that was pretty awesome. You know, he's it's, uh, 33, ours at 35.5, but
but they look almost exactly identical in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. he refitted the whole inside. So now he's doing the outside and he freaking loves that boat. Funny because we do too. <laughs> yeah, we've actually heard nothing but really good things about these boats and it makes us really happy to know that. <laughs> Here we go with Oliver again. He stops and smells the roses. He does. He stops and smells everything. Let's or see what he's every, doing. Where every dog pees, what they have for breakfast. What are you doing, Chump? There was somebody here who sure? had something delicious for breakfast, so he's just smelling to see what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy was super nice, wasn't he, babe? Yeah, he was. <sighs> Now walking from the boat yard, it's only like a mile to where we left our car, but it's hot. It's one o'clock in the afternoon and the sun is beating. Yeah, Oliver, walk in the grass for your little paws. <laughs> now that we're up on the jacks and on the hard, it's time to make that mile and a half trip back to the marina where we left the jeep because guess what we're here but we need to be all the way over here to get back to the jeep which has all the tools in it so yeah it was a little bit of an endeavor trying to figure out how we're going to get this and that to here and there but once we got the jeep over there we were able to sit down and start getting to work and Madeline's favorite thing, stripping the teak. All right, so let's go back here and show everybody what we're doing. So the through holes that we're taking out are these ones down here. So let me get a light in here so you can see what we're doing. All right, so you see we have this one here that this actually shares, this is the air conditioning line, or the uh, fre uh, salt water intake for the air conditioner. And then over here we have the fresh water, uh, salt water intake for the uh, head, which we're replacing. So we're not gonna need this anymore. However, we thought we were just gonna close this through hole, but now that's not gonna happen. It doesn't need it for the air conditioner. So what we're going to do is, we're going to then still cut it out, and we're just going to replace it with a newer one that only has a single fitting on it for one. Now here, as you can see, these are a little bit older. And we're going to be replacing these with some newer, more updated ones. And this one, we're going to be closing because that is our sewage dump. So we are definitely not going to need that anymore because we're going to have the sea head. Then. We're going to have our really fun job back in here in this mess. Oh yeah, hey by the way, that back there, take the light off. This back here was the original air conditioning unit. So as you can see, we have a lot of space up here, a lot of space. And then this wonderful device right here is our septic. But as you can see, this thing has been repaired and is really no longer going to be serving us any purpose. And um, yeah, so we're going to cut that out and rip all these cables out. So yeah. It's going to be a hot day, long day, but we're going to get it all done. So yeah. Wish us luck. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be cutting these through holes out. So an easy way to do this from what I've seen and what we're watching and everything else like that is that um, I'm gonna take an angle grinder and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna grind this part down, grind the mushroom head off without hitting the hole and then just get it down to where it's just the through hole so that it's just the thread sticking out so then I can pull it out from the inside. Now, this one here, I'm gonna be closing 
because this one is actually the um, the sewage drain. So obviously since we're replacing the head, we're not gonna need this anymore. This is gonna be the one that I was gonna close, but kind of find out it shares the same um, salt water intake as the, uh, it's the through hole for the, it shared for the head and the air conditioner. And um, we're not gonna do without that. So we're gonna keep that and I'm just gonna switch the type of through hole that it is, or the switch the type of um, seacock that it is. So it only has one fitting on it. Now this one here, is for the sink drain. So I'm gonna be swapping this one out and replacing it as well. So these two are gonna get replaced and this one is gonna get completely removed and then we're gonna grind all this down, fiberglass it over, and then they're gonna paint it. So, all right. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna start work. I'm also gonna do the one on the, um, the galley for the sink drain. So yeah, let's get to it. So like a dumbass, I didn't check the battery, but basically I ground it down enough to where I could push it back through the hole and then I could take this off. So we'll move on to the next one. Now we've been wanting to replace this head that leaks and smells and is rusty and yeah. We've been wanting to replace this ever since we got the boat. So now's our chance. We can finally take this puppy out and replace it with a nice new clean composting head. So let's get to it and start ripping stuff out. Here, take a big whiff of no, this. No, I don't think so, no. Are you sure? Take, yeah, I'm pretty it smells sure. Smells freaking amazing. <coughs> oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. Literally. Yeah. Shit, yeah. did you hop in a tank? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want to drop it overboard because I don't want to go down the stairs with it, but I'm scared it'll explode. But... Um, wrap it in, in a in a rope. It didn't explode. It just fell sideways. It's cool. Oh my god. Go pick it up and put it somewhere else. There you go. I'll just stick it in somebody else's trash bin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like the idea of the composting. Yeah. Like, oh man. Oh shit. Yeah. Say hi, Sean. What are you working on? Everything. <laughs> just that little <laughs> hole right there. Except the shit bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Holes. Just this. Couple holes. That's right. So what are you doing? Side thing from heat exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I am um so I got out the all the through holes, 
all the hoses so that we could take the toilet out. We've got to take the uh, the old head out and four four bolts. Yeah, only one of them comes out. So I'm about to negotiate the best way I know how because that shit's coming out and I don't give zero f about how it thinks how it feels about it. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. That's what I'm doing, so that I can finally call it a day and go have a shower and a beer and food. Sweet. All right, so now we're moving on to the next thing. Madeline up here. Must be nice. I'm still working on the team. <laughs>